What's up, everybody? Coach Jay Jackson here. Your boy is back in action, and I got another uh, rock star coaching client of mine, Jason, in the building. Man, this guy sure. has an amazing story, y'all, and uh, I'm I'm really excited for him to share his journey. You know, even before working with me to like where he is right now, and uh, man, I'm just amped up. Jason, how you feeling, brother? Sure. Feeling good, coach. Feeling real good, coach. I'm happy with my results, man. Feeling good. Feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I would wait until I'm 35 years old to get in the best shape of my life. You know what I'm saying? But better late than never, right? So I'm here yes, now. I'm here now. Never. Man, it, it, right. it's, it's so many guys, man. They they wait until they're in their, their 40s and 50s. And so, yeah. you know, I, I just want to take a sec to uh tell you I appreciate you, you know, for taking the time to jump on with me. And also, yeah. man, I commend you, you know, because a lot of guys, it, it takes them like decades to wake up. They don't start waiting yeah. until they're in their 40s and 50s. And they're like, man, my body is just falling apart. My body is mm -hmm. just like deteriorating. My health is declining. And so um, I feel like you did the right thing for sure. All right. Yeah. Appreciate that, coach. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I want to dive into your story, man. You know, before we get to all the good stuff, because you've had some amazing results, even the even your transformation photo that I posted over on um on Instagram, like it, it's got like yeah. Hundreds of likes on it, and so I'm like, up. Yeah, it's popping. But, um, That's what's up. And, and, and you still transforming, man. So I, I smile every time I see you, and so uh, checking in inside the coaching app. But um, well, I, well, I want to start, you know, because most people they see all this social media stuff, they see everybody highlight reel, they see everybody dropping the 20, 30, 50, 100 pounds, and they're like, man, it must have just been so easy for them. Because they never really hear the backstory. They they don't, mm -hmm. hear, you know, where that person came from and the adversity that they went through. And so I'm thinking that's the best place for us to start. Like, what, what was life like before uh, you started rocking with me? Like, what type of things did you try? And like, how was life before you started rocking with me? Oh, man, coach. Listen, listen, man. I, I tried everything, brother. I, I, you know, was one of those people where I've always had like a willpower that I could like try something and stick with it, but nothing would work because everything I tried, I was just doing it incorrectly and not having any structure and not understanding, I guess, what to do correctly. So for instance, I've tried, I was a vegan for six months. You know, everybody says, be a vegan, you'll get the body you want, yada, yada, yada. I tried that for six months straight, didn't really get the body I want. Mm -hmm. Then I tried the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the low carb diet where you're not eating the carbs. Yep. That didn't help. Then I tried uh, I tried something else, too. I think it was called a bean diet or a four-hour body diet or something like that, where you're eating in a certain... Man, I tried everything, coach. And it wasn't until I learned structure from you and counting the calories and looking at your protein intake and actually having a, a designed plan and designed structure and a better relationship with the food. It wasn't until I did that. Because mm -hmm. I was struggling, man. You know, I, like I said, I tried all of these things multiple times. There was even one time, Coach, where I went to, I said, you know, what? I'm going to do cardio every single day for a month and see where that gets me. You know, and you can't outwork the nutrition. What I mean by that, if you're eating fast food and you're eating, you know, the wrong stuff, I don't mm -hmm. care how much cardio you do. It ain't, I actually gained weight when I was doing cardio every single day and trying to eat what I wanted. So, Man, I tried everything. So it wasn't until you coach. And I, I just, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for putting me in your direction in the first place, man. Because I would have still been lost without you, coach. Just being honest, man. Yeah. I would have still been lost. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we connected because it, there's so many uh, people out there who they experience very similar things as you. Like, I, that that's very common for guys and ladies to reach out to me. And they're like, man, I'm doing all this cardio and like, how am I not dropping the weight I want to drop? Because I'm doing all, I thought cardio was what, what I was supposed to do, you know? And, um, you know, and even like the vegan, like I, I tried vegan for about, um, I think it was like three months. And it wasn't necessarily for me to drop weight or anything like that. But, you know, I see how the fitness industry is. And I know they'll bring new things to the market, which is just like a different method. But at the end of the day, it still focuses on the same principles of weight loss. And uh, I, I just like to see what y'all are experiencing. Like, what, what what is it causing your body to feel like? How is it making your lifestyle different? You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, um, 
when I did the uh, the vegan diet, man, I dang near lost. I didn't lose all my muscle, but I was definitely looking skinny. <laughs> I almost looked yeah. like sick. And so, because I wasn't eating much protein at all, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, it, it can actually be one of those diets that you can find yourself in a worse place than where you started if you're not doing it properly because you're deficient. Same thing with yes. keto, you know? But, um, you know, I, I know you tried a lot of things and, you know, I respect the fact that you didn't give up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, h- how long was that period in time, like, from when you first started trying to, like, drop weight and um, and, and to when you, you uh, discovered me? Oh, man, Coach, I've been trying to, like, get my body right since I'm 35 now. So probably since I was probably after a teenager, probably, like, in my mid 20s, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get my body right. So probably since I was, like, 23, 24 trying to figure out what to do. And, oh, man, it's been a journey, Coach. I've been battling, you know, trying to get, you know, to look the way I want to look for a long, over 10 years, man, trying to trying to do it. And it's just been, it's been a journey. And like I said, no success. I mean, little success, you know, here and there, but yeah. nothing sustainable. And these fad diets aren't sustainable. What you have me doing, I could do this for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? And, and I think some of these fad diets work, like keto, and maybe maybe these other things work because if you're in that calorie deficit that we talk about, yeah, maybe you will see some success get rid of the carbs and get rid of things because you're in a calorie deficit and you don't even know it. But yeah. you know, now that I'm in a calorie deficit, I know I'm in that calorie deficit. I, you know, I just just the knowledge you've given me, man, has just been beyond helpful, and it's yeah. why I'm succeeding because I have structure now. You know what I'm saying? So wow. it's just crazy when you have things structured out. And you have a game plan, how you can execute it, man, even from going down to the gym, coach, because, man, I'd be that guy, go to the gym, use that machine, this machine, this machine, not even on what I'm doing, not keeping track of nothing, just yeah. all out of whack. And I go faithfully, but I don't know what the heck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And now I got a game plan, hit the gym, hit the barbell, hit this, hit that. You know, you got it all laid out for me, brother. So it's just <laughs> night and day, man. It's night and day, coach. I, I mean, it's crazy. That's awesome. See, I'm no longer that guy in the gym not knowing what I'm doing. You know, I feel, you feel like you belong now. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going over there. I'm hitting them weights. I'm going to go do them pull-ups. I'm going to hit that leg machine. You know, I I know what I'm doing. Man, before when I was 24 years old, I may do dumbbells one day doing this, not knowing what I'm doing, lifting up. Man, I was all messed up, coach. I was all messed up, man. Man. It was crazy. It's, uh, (laughs) you know, don't don't feel bad about it because it's like there's so many people that go through that. It's so many people, and not even just in their twenties. Some people go through that for decades, uh, in their four, their thirties, their forties, their fifties, and they're just in there winging it. You know, that's why mm-hmm. I always tell people: like, if if you if, if you're winging it, like you'll get winging it results. But when yep. you develop some structure, <laughs> you get that game. It was funny because I was winging it. I was winging it, man. <laughs> even with the food, man, thinking I'm doing right. You know, I, I got on this kick where I was not eating the. Uh, Trying to, you know, not eat the bioengineer stuff in the process. Winging yeah. it. Just winging it, coach, man. You ain't going to get no results like that. You get winging it results, like you said. And that's what I was getting. Yeah, winging Damn. it. Results. And, and I think one of the frustrating things, um, you know, for y'all as well as myself as a coach is there's so many methods out there that y'all hear about. You know, you hear about the keto, the vegan, the, the Atkins diet. You hear about the fasting. Yep. and and all these different the supersets, the tri-sets, the pyramid sets. And you're like, what do I need to do? <laughs> That's a fact, man. You're what, preaching today, brother. Do, do I need to use dumbbells? Do I need to use machines? Which one yeah. is the right one? Which, which is the right way? You know what I'm saying? Yep. And so that can create this sense of like you're winging it. But sometimes you may not even know that you're winging it because you're just trying out different things without structure. Yes, so, I feel like you're talking to me right now, Coach. The old, I, I swear I feel like you're talking to me right now, man. The old me was doing all of that you said, bro. Yeah. And, you know, that's what attracted me to you, too. Because mm-hmm. when you make those videos, you know, about dropping the bicep emoji and you'll do more. And all the videos you make, I was like, this guy's talking to me right now. You know what I'm saying? With the big belly behavior and the winging it, not knowing what to do and not, oh, man. That's, that's what attracted me to you the most. I was like, I felt like you were talking to me. You know what I mean? And I was like... This guy's on to something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, I'm curious, though, like, what what triggered you? Because sometimes for people, it's something that's happened 
recently in their life. Like I remember one guy, a uh, coach named Renzo, uh, his his stepfather ended up passing away because he had a, a heart attack and Renzo was overweight. And um, in, he ended up joining my coaching program. He dropped 60 pounds. He dropped 36 pounds his first three months, 60 pounds in six months. And that by his step stepfather passing away, that triggered him to want to make a change. You know, wow. so in your life, what triggered you to want to start making that change to like lose the weight and get your body in point, on point? Well, I would say that, you know, early on in my 20s, it was, you know, more just being on more vanity. Wanted to look good when I was in my 20s. So I tried that. But then when I got in my 30s, you know, I had a second child, kids getting older. I want to stick around for them. You know what I mean? And be healthy, be strong, be full of energy. You know what I mean? I, I think that, you know, just having kids made me want to be the best version of myself for them also because you know you have kids it's really no longer about you it's about them too you know so most importantly they come first you know in my life so besides god obviously and i uh you know just wanted to be a better version of myself for them be healthy live to see my great 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 grandkids if, if possible lord willing you know so yeah. i uh i think that was the thing that really got me into it man you know wanting to look good too that's part of it i ain't gonna lie you know you want to look who don't want to look good you know what i'm saying but just being healthy, feel energetic. And I feel better now at 35 than I felt when I was 20, man. It's crazy, man. I want to play ball. You know, I'm hitting people up like, let's do something. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you feel good. And I think that for me, it was just my kids, man, and just wanting to look better, you know, and just feel healthier and be healthier, you know? Yeah, I, I, I totally respect that because I, I believe wholeheartedly any man that, you know, will bring kids into this world, man, that's a huge responsibility. And, and I, I, I see so often, you know, we have these broken homes and, you know, it's not to say that things don't happen, but um, the man has to be fit for life. You know, he has to be an athlete for life, meaning what I, what I think about that is like we have to be physically equipped and mentally equipped, like health wise. You know, if our body ain't right and our mental health ain't right, we can't take care of no kids. You know what I'm right. saying? We can't lead no family. And so... That's why That's right. you, those things are important. But uh, what I'm just curious though, like what what type of uh, uh, I guess in a way like maybe like insecurities or for some of us like man, we we go through a bit of shame that causes us to want to change and make some mm -hmm. change in life, whether it be physically or financially. You know what what type of things were showing up for you early on that made you start to want to make this change. To uh, be a better dad for you, uh, for your children, for your family. Uh, like you said, man, just being that leader, you know what I mean, and and being a better example too. Because when you have kids, they watch you and they see what you do. They 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 mimic you. They're sponges. So yeah. if I'm eating cookies every day, my mm -hmm. little man's gonna eat cookies. My daughter gonna wanna eat cookies. They're gonna develop my bad habits because I'm laying the foundation for them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I think that you know, me eating better, me making better decisions. They see that now too. You know, like, oh man, you know, daddy's eating a salad. Daddy's doing this. You know what I'm saying? Let me eat a salad. Like my daughter, that's, you know, they're my best friends too. So she wants to be like daddy. You know, she sees me, you know, looking at different things and now she's looking at stuff. She's trying to eat healthier. She's the 12 year old, you know, yeah. so she's, uh, you know, trying to eat healthier and she's watching what she eats now. And it's just like, by me being, you know, better, it's making them better essentially too, you know? So yeah. I, I just think that, you know, it, this whole thing with the eating has just made me, I say a better leader too, you know, because now I'm showing them a better way instead of, you know, eating the bad stuff and just more structure and do this, don't do that, you know, things that keep them healthy when they get older, you know, and just laying that foundation with them. That yeah. definitely helped me out for sure. Yeah, that, that's awesome. that was like a driving force, you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, I always tell people, uh, and we'll dive more into it in a second, but that nutrition is key, man. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's going to help you lean out, but also it gives you so much. Uh, I feel like it's spiritual in a way where you, it, you develop this level of discipline. You mm -hmm. de develop this level of uh, strength because you're restraining yourself from eating certain foods that you probably grew up your whole life eating these foods. You know, yes. like, you know, a lot of people see me on social media and doing all the podcasts and stuff. They all know I grew up eating honey buns and going to the candy lady every day, uh, eating mm -hmm. popsicles, eating uh, Skittles and Snickers. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I got a big cereal thing, man. 
Oh man, that's that's my favorite cereal, cinnamon toast crunch. Mine too, mine too. It's the goat, man. You already know what time it is, goat. It's the that goat, is, man. <laughs> that willpower, though, you know. And it's like I, you know, I think you, I could fit that in every now and then if I wanted to, but just having structure and that willpower to say, no, nah, I'm not gonna have that. I'm gonna have, you know, my eggs and my blueberries and my and you know my meat source and things like that. You feel better about it. And one thing you said too, coach, that I really like that stuck with me is like after you eat it. It's like, you know, that that feeling of, dang, man, why did I do this? You know what I'm saying? Was that worth it for me to eat this? That that ain't worth it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like I would have felt way better if I would have just ate them eggs or just did this or did that. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. feeling afterwards is never worth it, man. It's just really not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I totally know what you mean. That that feeling of guilt. And uh, yes. Yeah. And, and, and there's a bit of shame there, too, especially if <laughs> we know. Back. We like, man, I know I need to be doing better than what I'm doing, but man, how did I how did I let this impulse to eat this cereal just overcome <laughs> me and I eat the whole damn box? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fact, man. Uh you do feel guilty afterwards. You're like, damn, why did I do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You feel good in the moment, but as soon as you're done, you know, right. you're like, damn, man, why did I do that? Right. You know, right. you feel guilty. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, so so let, let's uh, let's transition. You know, you, you you tried all these different diets and, you know, you tried different workouts and then um, you came across my page. Right. Was, was, it on, was it on Instagram first? This was on Facebook. I saw you first on Facebook. On Facebook. So what, what was it that you saw about me that made you say, man, I got I got to go ahead and rock with Jet Man. I got to jump on board. I got to make a change. Just your transparency, to be honest with you, your transparency. Yeah. Uh, just like you, you laying it all out for me. Yeah. You have an hope in me too, telling me, hey, man, you know, I can get you where you want to be. You know, we can do this. You know, you yeah. instill some confidence in me. And yeah. with your videos, those, those reels you have, yeah. Like I said, you were talking to me, man. Like that person who had no structure, that person, I never paid attention to calories, coach. Never paid attention to calories. I thought incorrectly that, you could eat uh, healthy stuff and eat yeah. as much as you wanted of that healthy stuff. Nah, if you eating chicken and broccoli every day, but you eating way over and you ain't in no calorie deficit, that ain't good either. You know what I'm saying? So it's not necessarily about what's healthy. You still got to watch how much you're eating too, you know? And I never, man, so I was like, man, he's telling me something different. I had never really heard about you know, the, the calorie deficit and things like that. Never paid attention to calories, man. So for for me, I felt like you were talking to me with the big belly behavior. I felt like you had a, a plan for me. You instilled confidence in me. You know, you could do this. You could, it's not too late. You know, things like that, man. It really, I was like, man, this guy's telling me something different. I, I'm buying this. I'm feeling this. You know what I mean? So that's, that's good a, for me, coach. Wow. that That's awesome. That's really good to know. Um yeah. And, and and I get a lot of people to say that they like that transparency and authenticity that I'm sharing online. And uh, yep. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's something that I'm learning too, is instilling more confidence into you guys. You know, I feel like so many people on social media nowadays, they're just trying to like, you know, be like real direct and rough. And it's like, you still got to be, you still got to instill this level of confidence. I'm like, this can still happen. For people, yes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad you said that. Um, so when, when you joined the coaching program, when you joined inside the lion's den, uh, every, everybody wants to know what, what type of results did you, did you accomplish over the, uh, course of 12 weeks, the first 12 weeks? Oh man, I lost, uh, I started out at like 225 right now. I'm 180. What's my math? So about 40 pounds I lost over the first 12 and yeah. right now I'm at 180 right now. So yeah, about yeah. 40 to 50 pounds I lost rocking with you, coach. It's yeah. all been with you, man. I, 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 you know, I, I still can't believe it, man, to be honest with you. Like, you know, I look, take the shirt off. I'm like, man, is that my body? And then you start, you start taking pictures. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Then I yeah. kid you not, you know, I haven't posted a picture, you know, lately in, in, cause we're in a new phase now, mm -hmm. but I, I went back and I looked at my beginning photos. So yeah. when I met the very last photo that I was like, man, like, that's my body. You know what I'm saying? I lift up my shirt. I'm like, man, I got abs now. Like, this is, you know, it, it's just, man, it's remarkable, coach. Like, you know, run the play, run the play, run the play, like you say, man. And just, it's been a journey. I appreciate the journey. I, uh, 
taking it one day at a time, man. But it's the best decision I've ever made in my life, coach. <laughs> it's the best decision I've ever made in my life, man. It that's really awesome. is rocking with you, coach. That's awesome, man. That, that's, that's good to hear, bro, because, man, we, we have we make a lot of decisions in our life. And, and I've joined probably close to about seven or eight, probably close to 10 different coaching programs. And um, the, it's, it, it, would, it just so happened the one that I'm in now has changed my life the most. And, and I say all this to say, um, <clears throat> we're going to go through this journey where sometimes we can join different coaching programs, different meal plan uh, regimens and workouts, and the first one may not work. And for some people, they'll give up, you know, they, and they'll just feel like a failure. They'll feel like, man, it's just not meant to be. But for everybody that's listening or who may be watching, just know, man, like you can go through two, three, four of them. And, you know, you just want to be like, okay, this is not an L, but what's the lesson that I can learn from this? Like all, yeah. the whole journey is there to help you to become more self-aware. And mm -hmm. just so happen, like once you get that right one, once you hit it big, like you have, boom. Yeah, man. 40, 40, yeah, 40 man. pounds down. <laughs> yeah, man. It, life changing stuff, man. Life changing. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact, coach. Like, like I said, man, I'm 35 years old, coach. And I'm in I'm I'm in way better shape than I was when I was 20, 20. You know, I'm I'm like, man, I I ain't gonna I do wish I knew now what I knew but I wish I knew back then what I know now I, I do because then I probably I can only imagine what I would look like then but you know what I ain't gonna stop better late than never and we're gonna keep this rocking forever man we really are there you I ain't go. going back you know so got the tools now that's that that's got it the tools, and that, that's what I like to teach man it's like once you get the, these are what we call life skills you know you have the skills of understanding finances you have the skills of understanding how to build strong relationships and meaningful meaningful relationships with your fam friends and family skills right mm -hmm. uh, then you had a skill of understanding your nutrition understanding yeah. how to design your body to look the way you want it to look from hitting hitting the gym you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and also eating properly so that we feel well not just look well yeah we want to have you know a nice look we want to feel proud about how we look but also the long term yeah. 10 years from now, 20, 30, 40 years from now, like, are we still going to be healthy enough to be able to provide and take care of the people that we love and care about, you know, yep. skills. That's um, a fact, coach. That's yeah. a fact. Man. I'm just so glad I invested in myself too, you know, because we spend our money on everything else, but sometimes we don't invest in ourselves. And that was important. I told myself when I first started your program, I was like, you know, I'm going to invest in myself, man. I'm going to invest in myself spend this on myself and, and try to be the best version of myself I could be, you know? So, so glad I did it, man. I, I just, man, wish I did it sooner, coach. Wish I did it sooner, man. Let's talk Happy about to be it. here now. Can you know, a lot of people, they are afraid and hesitant about investing in coaches. And I understand, you know, it, it is some scams out there, but uh, what, what was going through your mind at the time? You know, when I told you the investment and all that good stuff and, you know, you're like, okay, like how how did that that go in your head? How did you navigate your thoughts to take make the decision to go ahead and invest? Uh like choosing you to invest, investing in you know, like uh, choosing your program. Like I say, man, just your transparency. I, I believed you. You know what I mean? I really did. Like being able to talk to you, your transparency. I don't feel like you were hiding anything. Like you were just open, upfront about everything. Here's X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? You even said, I'm not going to, uh, what did you say exactly? You said, I'm not going to uh, sell you a donkey and give you a cat. Something like that you said. I'm not going to, I, I can't remember the exact, what is it? Sell you a you unicorn, know? give you a donkey. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, man, I like that. I was like, you know what? I believe this guy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just your transparency, uh, just the way you presented the whole thing. It just it just made sense. And it was something I had never heard before, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to rock with this. I've tried everything else, you know what I'm saying? So let me try this guy because he's talking about structure. He's talking about nutrition. He's talking about calorie deficits and looking at this. I was like, I ain't never tried none of that. All these other things you see online, they're telling you to uh, let go of the carbs. And we need carbs. They're telling you to let go of this. We need these things. You know what I'm saying? Like you mentioned with the vegan thing, we're not getting the protein. You need your fruits and your vegetables with the carbs. So you're the only one who was presenting something different, 
you had the transparency and you laid down the whole foundation and made it crystal clear. So yeah. the way you're presenting is just different than anybody else that I've seen. Yeah. 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 That's, that's good knowledge right there. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, man. So, you know, it, it's one thing to get these type of results, you know, losing the belly fat, losing the big ass stuff. Oh yeah. The big ass stomach, big belly behavior. Yeah. The big belly behaviors and, and, and dropping the weight. But um, in what in what ways has this like positively impacted your life? You know, from a from a confidence standpoint with your family, you know, financially, all these things, all these other areas in life. How has your transformation impacted those areas? It made me super confident, super confident, coach. I'm one of these people, you know, I, I uh, believe in God and I um spiritual health, spiritual health mental health and physical health all related you know what i mean your spiritual health is first that can determine help determine your mental health your mental health can de help determine your physical health they all go down the stream together and mm -hmm. i feel like me physically being better now has just helped me out like we said earlier just being a better leader feeling better having more confidence too like you know you look better you feel better clothes fitting better so i'm, I'm more confident now physically which just made me stronger mentally. Like those go hand in hand. And like I said, most important, mo most importantly, your spiritual health. So they're all connected. And just with this looking physically better, it's made me way more confident, man. I feel like I can take on the world now, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm physically better now, you know, and that's important. Yeah. So yeah. definitely my confidence level is a lot higher than it's ever been, man, to be honest with you. Higher than it's ever been coach. Yeah, so, you know, I don't think a lot of people really think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because confidence, it, it spills into every... You show me a man that ain't got no confidence, I'm going to show you a man that's having a hard time in life. Like, it's not mm -hmm. to say that he can't make ends meet, you know what I'm saying? But he he's not exercising his potential. That That's what I think yep. about when a guy lacks confidence. And shoot, I would even say a woman as well. But, um, mm -hmm. and one reason I say it is because you can't show up as your best self, you know, your authentic yep. self with charisma and you know we, people love people who are authentic and just raw and real you know what i'm saying uh, and that comes from confidence but um with, with, with when you started to really start seeing that that confidence just exude it just started coming from you like man i'm starting to see my abs again man my, my arms starting to look good again and you know I'm, I'm pretty sure you start getting compliments too people start complimenting. oh yeah so what what, what type Big of time. <laughs> what type of thing uh, right. happen when that when that happened oh yeah coach i'm telling you man pe people notice like you said man you know girl looking at me differently she's like man babe you know what's going on you know then you know your friends and stuff they see you dropping weight like what's going on Jay? you know it just it makes you feel good coach you know it is what it, it makes you feel good you feel more confident you you feel stronger you know what i mean like man you know i'm lifting heavier weights now it's like it, it kind of you kind of like evolve as a human, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? You just it's like the the oh man, I can't even explain it. That inner beast inside you is just growing. You know what I mean? You just feel more confident, you feel stronger, you just I feel like you got it going on. You know what I mean? Can nobody tell you nothing when you're feeling good, you know? You know yeah. what time it is. And I'm, I'm I'm proud of you, man. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Cause hey, I know what you're talking about, man. Uh, you know, grow, growing up as like little boys. You know, um, and uh, especially our our generation, we grew up going outside, playing sports, running around. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to, like, develop this level of, like, grit and just, like, go get her. But I feel mm -hmm. like nowadays, not even just like the kids now growing up, but even some of the men, they didn't really have that. And so and, and a lot of life and society has caused them to suppress themselves and. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you can't be outspoken. Hey, you can't voice your opinion. You know, we go counsel you or, you know, that's bad. But when, when I think about having confidence, it's like, it's not that you're disrespectful. It's not that you're arrogant to people, but it's that you, you're standing on business, basically. It's like, yep. well, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm him. I'm him at the yep. mm -hmm. I'm That's right. Yeah, myself. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. People can see it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and when people see it, get, life just starts to transform. You know, mm -hmm. your wife, she starts to see it. Your kids, they see it. And uh, 
something that I always talk about that I'm starting to talk more about is um we have to be the person that we admire and so that you know our family our kids you know the people that we love and care about their admiration for us it makes them get motivated just off of us our off our behaviors and just off yep. our actions. and yep. so super proud of you man uh thank I know you, huh I said thank you coach I appreciate you man I, I really do man I tell you that all the time I sincerely appreciate you man couldn't have man, couldn't have done it without you coach couldn't have done it without you man and like you said, that that confidence is something else, man. And it oozes out of you. People can see it. And I go as far, I think you're a little happier as a person. I've always been a, a nice, laid-back guy. But you feel even more cheerful when you're looking good, man. I'm telling you, I really think that spiritual, mental, and physical health are all connected in some way or another. You know what I mean? Because you just feel better as an overall person when, you feel, when you're looking better, you know? Yeah, you really I do. Totally agree with you. Uh, so as, as we get ready to close out, you know, I know some people, they've been watching me for a while, you know, months, weeks, months, well, days, weeks, months, some years, and, uh, they might be on the fence. They might be thinking, man, man, you know, I've been seeing coach for a while now, but, ah, so for those people that are on the fence about joining the coaching program, what would you say to that person that they've been trying meals and the workouts and it just ain't been working out for them the way they wanted to. And so they may be a little hesitant. What would you say to that person to get them to pull that trigger to join the join the lines then? Listen, man, what 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 won't I say to them? Listen, <laughs> it's the what won't I say to them, coach? It's the best decision anybody can make. Invest in yourself. Trust Coach Jackson. He knows what he's doing. You're going to lay down the formula for them. You're going to lay down the foundation. You're going to instill that confidence in them, and they will see results. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. Join Coach Jay. I'm telling you, Coach, you the man. You the GOAT. I appreciate you, brother. And anybody who's on the fence, get off the fence. Pick a side, and the side is on with Coach Jay. Brother, you know what you're doing, man. You're the best coach in the world, Coach. I'm <laughs> telling you, man, if anybody is having any question about joining the Lions Den, please don't, because the Lion Den is where it's at. I'm Lions Den for life, baby. So, you know, it, 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 it's the best thing in the world, man. And it's the best, I tell you, Coach, honestly, it is the best decision that I've made, man. It, it really is. Investing in myself and rolling with you, nah, man. Best decision I made. Coach. Wish I would have did it sooner. Wish I would have met you 10 years ago, Coach. Yeah, I really yeah. do, man. And I really do. Powerful. Powerful. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, and, you. And, again, and again, I want to commend you on, um, you know, trying for years, man, like from 20 in your mid twenties. Now you're in your mid thirties and you didn't give up. You didn't just get the the efforts and say, ah, man, it just wasn't for me. Like you, you stuck it out. And yep. that's what happens sometimes, man. We got to just be willing to stay in the game, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, keeping this motion going because when you're in motion, you might not be seeing all the results that you want, but that motion leads to the breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because you were still in motion, because you were still looking, you discovered me and uh, you made the investment in yourself. And uh, man, the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? The rest is history. It's a movie, like you like to say, Coach. It was, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. Baby. it's a movie, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Anybody who, you know, back to what you were saying too about being on the fence look at my story. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm somebody who literally has tried everything. Atkins, keto, vegan. It wasn't until you that I'm seeing results. So please, man, Lions Den's where it's at, coach. 100%, brother. That's awesome, man. Love it. I love it. Hey, man, Jason, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming on, sharing these gems, sharing your stories, getting vulnerable and transparent with us. Um, sure. Hey, man. Let's keep crushing it, brother. Super proud of you. All right. I appreciate you, coach. All right. Now, y'all, um, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit the follow button and leave your boy a five-star rating so we can continue to grow this movement, man. It's not all about just losing the the, the big old ass stomach. It's about what that gives you. You know, it's, it's about the life that it gives you. Some of y'all, it gives you your life back. It gives you your confidence. It gives you your family back. Because when we don't have that energy, we might not be able to spend spending time and enjoy life with our, the people that we love and care about, which is our family. And so you get them back, man. 
And so uh, with that said, we out of here, baby. Let's go. Mm.